Hey everybody, Mary here. I wanted to do a really quick video today about decorating for the holidays while living in an RV. So as you know, when you live in an RV, there just isn't a lot of extra space to store a ton of decorations or just really extra things, period. Um, so you have to be really selective, but it doesn't mean that you can't decorate and celebrate different seasons or holidays in your RV. So uh, finally, the weather has broken here in Indiana and it feels much more like fall. So I took a little trip to Hobby Lobby today and decided to get just a few things to bring out that fall feeling on the inside of my RV, just like it's happening on the outside. Again, did not want to spend a ton of money, did not want to get a ton of stuff that I'll have to store later. It had to be really just small touches just to give that fall feeling to the inside of the RV. So I'm going to show you what I got and uh, maybe it'll give you some ideas on what you can do for your RV as well. So first I'm going to start with my dining room table and keep in mind that this teal colored uh, runner that stays on my table that is a part of my decor all the time. Uh, a lot of the accents in this RV were that brown, so I wanted to lighten and brighten it up by doing this teal color on the table. So I just decided to kind of go with that and add to it. So I got this really inexpensive glass vase. I just got four big hydrangeas in kind of this multicolored orange and I just cut the stems off and put them in there. Then I found these three really fun pumpkins and I didn't want anything that really looked like a traditional pumpkin. I wanted the shape, but I didn't want the texture. So we went with this cream colored one that is actually sort of like wood shavings. It's pretty cool. It's one of my favorites. And then I went with sort of this light blue to go with the teal. And then I got this orange one, which is kind of a medium size. It's more of a burlap fabric uh, and a little bit of metal on those leaves. And I got that just to tie in with the orange colors of the hydrangea flowers. So as I mentioned, I wanted to get things that were not only going to be inexpensive and wasn't going to be huge, but I wanted it to tie in with the decor colors that I already had. And this is uh, my living room area. And so you can see the pillows that I have there are that teal, that brown, and that orange. And I keep those all year round. Um, so holiday and fall is actually going to suit this, uh, this color palette really well. But here's the other thing that I did, just something really simple. Uh, this is just a lighted garland and it is primarily leaves, but it does have a few little pumpkins on there as well. I just needed one strand. I wanted the lights though, just to give a little bit of ambiance in the evening when we have the lights turned down um, and it would look really good there with our fireplace. So there you go, that's it folks. Um, it's not a ton, but it just gives a little bit of that fall feeling. So just to recap, on the table we have a clear vase I had four stemmed orange hydrangeas that I cut the stems off and put in that vase. I found three different pumpkins, all in different textures, sizes, and colors. And then I got that uh, lighted leaf garland that I laid on the floor in front of the fireplace. So that's all the items I got. Went to Hobby Lobby and I was able to get all of that for less than $50. So a really inexpensive way to decorate my RV for the fall, to give it that fall feel that I used to do in my sticks and bricks home, but not a lot of items to have to store and not a lot of expense. And they were all super, super lightweight, so they won't be a problem adding it to the haul of our RV. So there you go. Happy fall, y'all. As always, we're Hendrick Home on the Highway, and we will see you right down the road.